Hi guys, Dave from Nerd Rookie, for Nerds by Nerds, hanging out with this nerd. Nerd Rookie's Ted. And today we're going to talk about dealing with a awful loss at your gaming table. Jump down in the description below where you can sign up for Nerd Rookie, the newsletter, get weekly gaming tips, as well as learn how to game with Nerd Rookie. Alright, so we had a GM911 come in from from KL, and it's a really, like, really serious topic, and, and it's actually more about... Uh, the players at the table than it is about the game per se and unfortunately this person had uh, one of their players actually pass away you know not a character death but the actual person that was at the table has passed away and they wanted to know what to do with the character that's left behind um, and this is really unfortunate and you know our condolences we're sorry to hear that it, you know, it's always tough I lost my first GM he died of leukemia when he was like 19 so you know, I can definitely, I can, I can definitely empathize w with this. What to do with the character that, left, that is left behind was the question that was asked of us, and a lot of this really depends on your friendship with this individual and the friendships at the table. Like that's going to really inform how you how you deal with this. So when when we were, you know, we we received an email about this, and all of it, you know, comes down to the character had like integral portions of the plot sewn into his character many backstories side stories you know side plots what have you were tied into what this character was doing and it's it's a challenge to approach this situation because you you want to be respectful you know you you know everyone is going to be sad every time that that character name comes up you know it, it's going to remind you that you know your your friend your gaming companion your compatriot isn't there to cel celebrate you and and or celebrate with you and have the fun that you're used to doing now if if you know that your friend would be honored to have that character portrayed and live on and you know have something great happen to him that's that's absolutely an idea that you can do if you would prefer or if they would prefer that they go out in a blaze of glory, like this is something I've always wanted to do. Well, then you could give him that moment. This is the this is the perfect moment to give that character the send off that the player would want, and allow the characters at the table, or the the players at the table, to be able to honor his memory by doing so. I mean, it could literally be a way to grieve together. Obviously, this is a discussion to have at the table to figure out what is going to work for your group and what is going to make sense, like going out in the blaze of glory or, you know, having something happen to that player's character. Then, you know, the rest of the party kind of like will can band together and rally to, you know, maybe complete those plots or quests that were left open in honor, you know, of this character, name of this character. Maybe, the you know, just before the character... Uh, passes, you know, he gets the character gets final final last words, and it's like avenge me or you know whatever. Uh, but you know, and then the players can kind of like rally behind that, and and maybe it can help them as players grieve. You know, you're gonna have to decide what's right for your table. Although we do have a disclaimer that we should probably put out there. You know, be warned, we are not medical, <laughs> we are not mental health uh, experts. Or doctors in any shape or way. We're just morons that play role-playing games. Take whatever we say with a grain of salt. And do not look to us or seek us out for medical advice under no circumstances ever. <laughs> that that being said. These are merely our opinions. That that being said, um, you know, absolutely take what we say with a grain of salt so that you know you're you're going forward with you know your your best plan in mind. You know, if this character is tied to so many plot lines and they're not sharing, well, perhaps this, this character, you know, leaves a note of, all right, well, you know, you know something has, has, call, has, has called me elsewhere. And maybe there's, there's something that's really important with this character. He has to deal with it. And the small things that the, uh, you know, the players, the other characters at the table are dealing with are left with his diary and all, all the notes that happened over the campaign and all the things that this character has figured out and not shared, you know, lie, lie open for, for all to see. And it's like, Oh, remember in session seven when this happened? Oh my, he did this. And I didn't notice that. 
here you can add in even more things. You know, maybe this this fallen player is a divine or semi-divine being who was, you know, coming along with them for posterity's sake, or maybe he wanted to see what mortal life was like and his time has has elapsed. He can't he can't travel with them any longer. You know, the the greater powers have said, Alright, you you've been caught. You can't be here anymore. Let's go. Um you know, maybe there's something else going on, and you know, you don't want to, you don't want to link to deities and that kind of stuff. The Lord of uh, the you that kind of reminds me of the, like the Lord of the Rings send off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, the boat. Right, the boat. Yeah, <laughs> over to the whatever the lands were called. So you know, when I'm I'm sitting here thinking while you're talking, and you're, you're like, he's got un- things to, unfinished things to do, and decides to leave. Another like fun thing to do, a cool thing might might uh might be and. Again, it depends on your group and, and what kind of friendship you guys all had, right? Or girls, as the case may be. So, you know, the character goes off to do their own thing, but the party decides to pursue. And, like, as they go, like, they pursue and are doing their own adventures, but, like, they're always getting there, like, just a little too late, and they just miss them. So they get to hear, hear these, like, great tales and heroic tales or funny stories or, you know, whatever fit for the personality of the player and the character, you know, of what happened just before they got there. Like, in a, so, like, in a little way, you, like, through, through the character, you keep that person alive at the table, where, like, now it's, like, an NPC and they're kind of doing stuff out ahead of the party, and they're always, like, encountering the aftermath, or maybe they have to fix stuff, or, you know, or complete something, or it springs another adventure. You know, what do you, whatever you think would be appropriate for your table. So like all of these are really great ideas, uh, you know the the idea, you know that really you want to look at is what would that what would that player like? What are the players at the table that still remain? What's going to give them like the yeah that was you know that was what he did or that's what she did or would have done, you know this is this is what's going to keep the memory alive, and you know may, maybe. You know when the you know when this time or you know comes again next year, you know you have you know some kind of tribute to uh, your 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 fallen friend, and you you play you know in memory to them, and you know you, you give them the the, the proper send off and the and the respect that you know it it would it would need. Yeah, like I was kind of I guess we were kind of talking about it and discussing things a little bit, and a lot of times. In real life, there's there's certain kinds of closure you just can't get. Either it's just not appropriate, or there's nothing to rally against. You know, we don't really know how the how this person passed. You know, whether it was an accident or illness or anything like that. You know, and a lot of times these aren't things you can really avenge. But in a fantasy role playing game, like you like this might be the opportunity to make something up for the character, and then the players can kind of like avenge them. You know, if, if, you know, he was slain by some great beast and, you know, the close of this campaign is bringing that beast down, you know, it's like, all right, you know, and this one goes out to, you know, our fallen companion and he's been avenged. Right. So you're going to have to decide what works for you. But uh, down in the comments, you can look there to get more suggestions, more ideas. What do you guys think? How would you deal with this situation in your game or at your table? Uh, Maybe you just let it go and kind of move on. But we got a place for it down in the comments while you're at there. At it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can check out our website over on nerdarchy.com. So until next time, stay stay nerdy. nerdy.